John Keely. All I know is time to eat. It's a world full of money, got me diving in the streets. Get that money every week. That's the everyday thing, keep it on repeat. Yo, 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 what's going on? It's your boy Frank here from Truth No Chaser And yes, you have entered another episode of Frankie's Sports Bar A place we can get your sip on and your weekly dose of sports all in one place Yes, sir, got a good one for you here today Got my man Christian Keeling, point guard for the North Carolina Tar Heels in the building What's going on, Chris? What's good, what's good, Frank? Yes, sir, yes, sir, good to have you in the building Before we get into this, ladies and gentlemen, what I want to do is I want to make sure that you guys are following us on all our social media outlets I want you guys to follow us at YouTube, Truth, underscore, no, underscore, Chaser I want you guys to uh, also subscribe to us and check us out on our website That's thetruthnochaser.com the truth no chaser.com and facebook and youtube also truth no chaser so let's get into this man let's all go. right what's going on yeah. chris what's good everything's good man man listen let me tell you something man it's good to have you here my brother yes sir um like i said again uh christian is the christian keeling is the point guard for uh north carolina tar heels uh i want to know this past season yeah. how was it like playing under the legendary roy williams uh it's uh, it's crazy because people um, introduce him like that, and um, I just see him as um, you know, just my coach. But um, uh, is I teach, I mean, I learn from him in various ways mm. on and off the court. Um, it's crazy because I probably learn more from him off the court. Mm -hmm. Um, he teach you um, different values in life and different lessons in life through basketball. Um, he's a down to earth guy, you know. Mm -hmm. um, People might see him as, you know, probably this big, you know, a legendary guy. But, you know, he he just a regular guy. You know, he's um, I talked to him you yeah. know, a lot when I was at school. I used to go in the office and just pick his brain. Yeah. And he been around the block, you know. He mm -hmm. uh, he had a lot of experience and stories. I mean, he's a big-time story guy. Yeah. And you could just – he's one of them guys you just sit down and you could talk to him for four or five hours. And, uh, That's what's up, man. I, you know, you hear that a lot about uh, some of these uh, coaches that's out yeah. here. They, they almost like father figure-esque. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And they have to be, you know. Um, yeah. You know, at the end of the day, it's, yeah. a, it's not just an investment, but you have to build those, like, kind of camaraderies with the players. So exactly. I can imagine, you know, uh, his suit game. Yeah. The suit game, crazy though, right? Like, the, have you seen him in the same suit? Like, no, no right? I haven't. I haven't. I haven't. <laughs> see him duplicate no suits, man. Swag is on a thousand, exactly. man. Exactly. I always like that dude for that. Now, yeah. for for those that have never been to a Tar Heels game, mm -hmm. it, describe the atmosphere, the building, though. Like, it's it's crazy. It's um, it's overwhelming. It's like words can't describe you. Just me as a player, my first time uh, running out there. Um, for late night rewards, like a um, little exhibition, you just between the players and fun the games and stuff. It was it was just crazy. You just look up there, you know, just the it's so much tradition and history that yeah. played on the court. I mean, it's it's almost it's, like goosebumps. Yeah, right? so you, exactly. Yeah, so, undescribable feeling. I yeah. can I can always I can only imagine, man. Now you came in as what's the correct terminology? It's a it's a fifth year recruit or was it a senior transfer? How how do you uh, phrase that? It's mine's is very rare, so. Um, mm -hmm. I went to Charleston Southern for three years. I actually graduated early, so okay. I graduated in three years. So I had the option to be a graduate transfer, and I chose the option not to come back to Charleston Southern and end up going to UNC. So, uh, so technically, um, I'm a graduate transfer. Graduate transfer. That's yeah. what they would call that. So, what what is what are some of the like odds? You know that you're up against when it comes to being a graduate transfer versus somebody that's coming in fresh and brand new. Um. The biggest odds is the obvious. You got one year. So mm. um, with me playing three years at Charleston, something you got one year to you know show and prove. Kind yeah. Of. Um, with you versus you being a freshman, you got you know four year, possibly five years, you know, yeah. to be able to develop. And then you come in, you got the you know disadvantage. You don't know the system. You mm -hmm. don't know the the culture. You don't know. So you know it's 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 about adjusting. So man, uh, I can and 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 I can imagine like the the, the pressure. Yeah, that's a, that's that's on you as far as like you know that that one shot you yeah. know what I'm saying like yeah. that the Eminem so like yeah. you know eight mile or whatever just exactly. see so now 
Now, who's your favorite? Who were like your favorite players like growing up? Like, um, I was a big, um, believe it or not, I was a big Tyler Hansborough. Um, he yeah. actually went to North Carolina. Yeah. Um, all Tyler leading score there. What, 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 what they used to call him? Crazy. Uh, crazy. Uh, crazy. Psycho T. Psycho T. Psycho T. Yeah, 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 yeah. And um, I was um, now I'm um, I'm a big time CJ McCullough fan. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah, um, CJ McCullough, man. Where he went to like Lehigh? Or he something went like to that? Lehigh. Yeah. Let me tell you something, man. Um, yeah. That's one of the dudes that I didn't see. Yeah. I, I didn't see being that big, like, yeah. like, and dude is like nasty with it too. No, like he ain't he ain't just like a role player, like yeah, you know. He, he's a star. Man. Yeah, I, I like that dude, man. So, so is he like a player that you 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 feel like you've modeled your game after? Um, a little bit. A lot of people say um, I play because I'm a big time mid range guy, mm -hmm. and then they say that he's a uh, he's a he's a big time mid range guy too. I mean, I. I study him, but I don't, you know, I don't believe in modeling your game out for somebody. Mm -hmm. You know, I try to be myself, but yeah. I definitely uh, get in his bag and take pointers from him and stuff like that. And I really like admire his game and how he got to the league from a mm -hmm. mid major and stuff like that. Is there anybody on your team like? So I, f I follow some cats on Instagram and stuff like that, and yeah. uh, I be seeing uh, your your point guard, starting point guard, Cole Cole yeah, Anthony. I be yeah. seeing him like practice with mellow yeah sometimes it's like you have you ever like sit in awe like of people's work ethic like maybe like like they, he a dog like for yeah. real um you know you know you don't, when you used to stuff like you know he, with being him he has cold and for instance have a uh, unbelievable work ethic mm. and um you know it's just normal it's just become normal yeah you know you just know cold gonna be in the gym you know um what he's gonna do you know um he just, you know, he's there late at night. He's more a late at night type of guy. So, mm -hmm. I mean, it just, it's don't be at all, but you just know it's just normal. You just normal. Who's. You ever try to do one of them, like, you know, <laughs> you ever have like a loving basketball moment in the, in, in, the, in the gym? You just trying to, you know, like, nah, you ain't going, you ain't going to do me like you do everybody else, bro. Nah, me and Cole played one on one when we first got there a lot. Yeah. And, um, you know, right before he got hurt and stuff. And, uh, yeah. um, He's a he's a tough cookie though, guard. Yeah. But um, it's fun, you know, because we love to compete at each other and we yeah. play one on one. Um, and like, you know, I think I think the high of him, I think he should be, you know, a top three pick for sure. But um, <laughs> I'm biased, so yeah. That's nah, cool. I can understand, man. Like I said, I, you know, I, I watch you guys play, and yeah. you guys struggled a little bit this year, or whatever. Yeah. But I know them last couple of games. You dogged. Yeah. <laughs> last nine, even that's not even no blow, no smoke yeah. up your ass. Really, like the yeah. last couple of games, I was like, I was hitting Chris up at the job. Like, yo, you, you see, yeah. you Christian Adjo, yeah. twenty one. You know what I'm saying? That you was, you was killing, like you know. And I'm, I'm one of my boys, man, up in South Carolina. Shout out yeah. to my man Mark. He a big Tar Heels fan, yeah. man. And he's like, hey, when the the cat that you was telling me about that? I was like, yeah, yeah man. He's like, damn, we kind of should have been. Play, we play him the whole time, like you know. So I said, yeah. "Hey, man, it's a system, you know. That you, yeah. you got to, you know, yeah. f you know." So now, you you come from a, a basketball background, yeah. With uh, your uncle Harold Keelan, yeah. Your yeah. uncle Harold Keelan, he played for the Dallas Mavericks and he played overseas, Venezuela, yeah. won like five championships over there and stuff like that. Like, how how was that experience? And was there any pressure, if any, like coming up in a, in a family of ballers and stuff mm -hmm. like that, and such a close, you know, family uh -huh. member in your corner? Um, it it was no really no pressure because uh, my family was like you know one of them families like don't put pressure on them. if this is what you want to do mm. then they gonna take the the precautions and the next step to help me be you know the good as I can and reach my full potential but um um a lot of people compare me to my uncle and just the how we built and stuff like that and um. Um, he's really you know, the only one you know that um, got to the highest level that yeah. I'm trying to get to. So, Absolutely. Um, it's, it's, you know, he's one of my world models along with my dad, you know, when it comes to the basketball aspect. Mm -hmm. um, and it's good that, you know, it's easy to, it's easier like when, you know, you're trying to get to something that he already been through. He could, you know, he knows guide a lot you. of, yeah, mm -hmm. guides me and like tell me the different stuff that he been through and like how it is, the pro-life and how it is and, you know, um, He's been very helpful along alongside with my dad and and this um it's been great to have him just to have that person, you know, versus you know, you know, you need a mentor and mm -hmm. and um and I just you know, I respect him and I look up to him, especially in the basketball aspect. That's what's up, man. I love that man, that family camaraderie yeah. that y'all have, man. What's like so off kilter, what's what's your current thoughts? On the situation in the NBA right now, with the 22 game season that they're trying to like cram down our throat, you know, mm -hmm. and you know, Kyrie had came out yeah, against it, exactly. You know, basically saying this ain't the time for sports right now. Like we going through a lot in this country that we need to rectify. Stop sweeping shit under the rug. Yeah. You know, do you agree with him or? 
Uh, I'm not one of them guys to, I mean, with Kyrie, I understand his perspective. But, okay. But at the same time, um, I understand everyone's that's for resuming, mm-hmm. you know. Um, but, you know, I'm not with choosing side, but I think both of them have different perspectives. It depends, yeah. it depends on how you look at how the matter. Look at it. Yeah. And um, I think, but like the, the, what I'm reading on, I think both sides try to, you know, Something like bringing the back would help, you know, bring the, um, you know, bring the justice. Some something that you know, black people or black uh, males mm-hmm. is uh, makes up makes up most of the NBA mm-hmm. and thinks that if they just sit out, then it's gonna show like you know some type of um, like selfishness or yeah. I, I got you. Uh, I I got you. Man. So. Well, I mean, I, I'm 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 like you. I I definitely agree both sides, but I I, I am more. Kyrie, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I you know, I feel like we sweep a lot of stuff under the rug as a mm-hmm. country and stuff like that. And yeah. you know, at this particular moment it, it might not be what's yeah. needed right now. But nah. we'll see. We'll see how that unfolds. I mean, yeah. Know? I mean, um, I think I seen an interview about I'm mean, still talking about why he um, you know, trying to bring it back. But like you said, I think Kyrie has a you know, his perspective is, you know, um that's not what's at the forefront right now. You mm-hmm. know, um we need to you know, like you said, we they've been sweeping a lot of stuff for a very long time and and it's it's, it's with everything going on that I mean I think that's you know, you need to put that in the but like I said, I don't take side but I understand. That's what's up. No, I, I got it, I got it, I got it. <laughs> but but well before we, uh we bounce the last question I do have for you, okay. what's some of the What's a message, strong message that you can give to someone in your position, you know, like uh, as far as recruitment and some of these young cats need to hear? Um, so recruitment, I mean, the f- first thing is you got to you got to get your grades to school. Mm-hmm. You got to get the books. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, people, you know, school might not everybody not might like it, but you got to get the books. That's mm-hmm. the, um, that's the biggest thing that people leave out. You're a student athlete. So right, you, student first. So basketball mm-hmm. is a tool mm-hmm. to uh, help you get your degree. There you you go. know, it's it's gonna help me get two degrees. There you go. Ooh. And without basketball, I wouldn't be able to, to get that. So, mm. um, and that being said, you know, I think that's the number one. You got to get the academics first. You mm-hmm. got to make sure that bas- you use basketball to get the academics and get your degrees and mm-hmm. stuff like that. And um, the second is you got to use basketball to um, be able to build relationships and get opportunities mm-hmm. you might, everybody can't be a pro mm-hmm. but basketball can help you get a job or basketball can help you get this relationship with somebody that you might know or might mm-hmm. be on it you never know you never know so you, you just build a connection it's an opportunity and then third don't give up if My you man. don't give up that's if you, yeah if you uh believe that you what you believe don't tell nobody nobody no i never thought Mm-hmm. Nobody never thought I'd be playing at North Carolina. Right. But I feel like I could. Yeah. So I did what I had to do. I had to graduate and grind for three years. Yeah. Just to have the opportunity to play yeah. at the highest level. Yeah. But like I said, just don't give up because you My never man. know. Because everybody routes different. God yeah. got a plan for everybody else. So, I mean, I think them three things, that's what helped me get through it. Yeah. And then I think they'll be just fine. Sick, man. So. Unbelievable message, man, from the youngin himself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He knows firsthand. Tell the people real quick before you get out of here how they can follow you and catch you on social media. I mean, you can follow me on Instagram at um, ckeeling underscore 11. Twitter at basketball power without the E. I don't know why I misspelled it. <laughs> and uh, that's pretty much it, man. My man, I appreciate you for yeah, coming through, up, man. man. Yes, Glad sir. And that'll do it for Frankie Sports Bar. The bar is closing. And we will see you next week, God willing. Peace out. Peace.